Hello friends, Tony here. In the previous video we worked with like, now let's work with the save and attending. So for that let's open the VS Code and here I'm going to create first the controller. So I'm going to say Alizan make controller and the name of the controller, let's name it uh, event or just save system controller is going to be invocable so select two and one more for the attending system controller and also this one is going to be invocable today's video is brought to you by cloudways a managed cloud hosting platform for php based applications so we have a wordpress magento laravel and php cloudways takes over all server management and security hassles to let you solely focus on your business their custom stack provides performance boost managed backups that keep your app safe and a staging environment that let you test code without breaking live sites. Plus, pre-configured Composer and integrated GI make deployments a breeze and you get a choice between five top cloud providers including DigitalOcean, Vulture, Linode, WSL and GCI. With Cloudways, you not only get flexibility but peace of mind. So if you are an agency or an e-commerce store owner, Cloudways is a great fit for all your managed hosting requirements. Don't forget to use promo code link in description. Okay, let's close this. Now let's open the web routes and create the routes first. So I'm going to copy this and paste. This is for events. Like this is going to be for events. Save and attending. Okay, let's use the controller here. So here we need to say save system controller and it is going to be also events save. Here is going to be the attending system controller class and the name is going to be attending like this. Okay, I think we're okay. Now let's open the controllers and I'm going to go inside the app SATP controllers go first to the like and I'm going to copy what we have here because it's going to be something similar and let's, let's open the save system controller paste that in here now we need to, the ID you know the request so let's say dollar sign ID remove this request and let's import the event from the app models event here. Then we're going to say save event like this and use the event, not likes, but save the event. And I think let's open the control the model, so the event model. And we don't have the relationship. Let's see. Yeah, we don't have the relationship for the saved events. Let's create that. Let's say method here. And I'm going to say saved event, which is going to be uh, as many relationship. And it's going to return dollar sign this as many saved event class. Okay. Let's save and let's close and now let's use that. So save event, uh, maybe save events here. So let's open again the event model and use plural save events. Where user ID, out ID first, okay. And then if it is not null the saved event, so let's copy this and paste it. We need to delete that and return null. Otherwise, we're going to say save the events equal with event and the relationship saved events create user ID out ID and return. Okay. 
Now let's uh, copy and do the same on the attending system controller. Paste it here. We need the ID. The dollar sign ID. We need to import the event also. So the app models event here. And I'm going to name it attending. So let's say attending like this. I'm going to copy, paste it here, 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 and here. Now attending is going to be dollar sign event and the attendings relationship where user ID out ID first. If it's not null the attending, we are going to delete and return null. Otherwise, we are going to create a new attendings with a, this user ID, but for attendings also we have the, so let's open the attending model. We have also the num tickets and I'm going to leave it for now by default one. So let's say num tickets to be one and return that attend. Okay, let's save. Let's close, close this one. And now let's open the controller. So the event show controller, because here we have the like, also we need to get the saved event and the attending. So let's say here, dollar sign, save event, the people with event not save, but event save events and where user ID out ID first and also dollar sign attending to be equal with event attendings where user ID is going to be out ID and we need the first one. Okay. Let's add them here now. So the attending and also the saved event. And I think we are okay. So like saved event attending. Now let's save and let's close and let's open the events show blade. So let's open the events show blade with the close now here. And here we have the event like the city and city. So we don't need them. What we need is the saved event, which is going to be JS dollar sign saved event. And here attending, which is going to be uh, JS dollar sign attending. Okay, let's load this like this and here we have the button. Now let's copy this one and add it down there and also the, this one here. We need to create the methods for saved and for the attending. So let's add the comma. And let's name it on handle save event this one and on handle attending this one. Okay, let's copy this and add it to this one here, which is for the save. And let's copy on handle attending, which is going to be for the attending right here. Okay, let's add now, let's open the web routes and just copy the route here for the save and paste it here. And let's copy the attending route and close now, which is going to be for the attending. Now here we say then response to this event like, it's not going to be event like, but it's going to be 
safety event and also this attending in here. I think we are okay now. Okay, now let's copy the classes or the buttons. I'm going to copy what we have here and paste it to this one. Let's save. Now this is not for the event like, but this is for the saved event. And also to this one, for which, which is for the attending. This is for attending. Okay. Let's save and let's see now on the browser what we have. So let's refresh. Yeah, now if I click save, we have a red. And if I refresh, yeah. Let's click again. I refresh. Okay, let's say for attending. Let's refresh. Yeah, attending again. And the like. And then let's make all the red. Good. Now let's open also the table class just to see here. So we have uh, saved events. Yeah, we have one. Let's go and check for the attendings. We have one and let's, let's check for the like also. And we have one. Okay. Now, one more thing. If you don't like the be all red here, you can change the colors. So, for example, uh, let's open the VS Code. Now I'm going to remove this blue here. Not remove, but I'm going to select this one for all of them. And instead of blue, I'm going to say, uh, let's say, slate. Slate, so by default, it's going to be slate. And let's see if I refresh. Yeah, it's going to be something like this now. For the like, I'm going to leave it red. For the save, I'm going to make, let's select the red here, and I'm going to make a yellow. For the attending, I'm going to make it uh, indigo. And let's save, come here, refresh. Now if I click save, we have red, if I click so if I click like, we have red. If I click save, we have a yellow. And attending, we have indigo. Okay, friends, so that's it all about this video. Now, don't forget, if you like such a content, subscribe to my channel, like the video, and share with your friends. And see you in the next one. All the best.